dear students greetings of the day myself dr vatsala sharma assistant professor school of legal studies bvd university lucknow dear students today i am going to discuss with you a very important topic of subject penology and victimology and the name of topic is forms of punishment under hindu code of law so let's start the topic forms of punishment under hindu code of law the history of the penal system states that in the past punishments were cruel and barbaric in nature the objectives of such punishments were to create deterrence and retribution such punishments were classified under the following heads number 1 capital punishment number 2 corporal punishment number 3 social punishment and number 4 financial punishment and now we will discuss all of these punishments one by one number 1 that is capital punishment capital punishment is an authorized killing of someone in a legal manner as a punishment for the crime committed such as a death penalty in other words it means a government has itself sanctioned a practice where a person is put to death by the state as a punishment for a crime in ancient india capital punishment was a very common practice it was the most extreme form of punishment and the methods of meeting out this punishment varied from time to time some of those methods were number 1 stoning stoning is that method of capital punishment in which a group of people throw a stone at a person until he dies in it the guilty person is made to stand in a small trench dug in the ground and the people surround him from all sides and throw stones on him until his death this mode of punishment is still meted out in some of the islamic countries especially in afghanistan saudi arabia etc second one kind of capital punishment is embermen in it the offender were constructed into a wall it was the most cruel barbaric and the most painful form of execution of a death penalty third kind of capital punishment is pillory in pillory the offender were was compelled to stand in a public place with his head and hands locked in an iron frame so that he could not move then he would be whipped branded or stoned or his ears would be nailed to the beams of the pillory sometimes dangerous criminals were nailed to the walls and were then shot or stoned to death it undoubtedly was a very cruel and brutal form of punishment which was in practice till the 19th century and the fourth mode is execution by elephant under this punishment the offender was thrown under the feet of an intoxicated elephant to be painfully crushed to death second form of punishment is corporal punishment corporal punishment simply means a form of punishment which is intended to cause physical pain on a person it it is also known as physical punishment this form of punishment is for the violation of a law which involves infliction of pain on or harm to the body of the offender the objective behind corporal punishment is not only to punish the offender but also to prevent the repetition of the offense by the offender or by any other person the following are the corporal punishment which were meted out in and same time number 1 is flogging it simply means beating or whipping someone with a stick or whip as a punishment it was the most common method of meting out corporal punishment to offenders in india it was recognized under the whipping act 1864 which was repealed in 1875 
1909 but was finally abolished in 1955 the method of blogging different from country, uh, differed from country to country second kind of corporal punishment is mutilation generally it means to cause severe damage to the body of a person in other words it means damaging a person severely especially by removing a part of the body this mode of punishment was in practice in ancient india the third kind is branding it means searing of flesh with a hot iron in this method of punishment the culprit was branded by hot iron on the forehead with the words describing his offense this method was commonly used in classical societies in roman penal law criminals were branded with appropriate mark on their forehead so that they could have been identified and subjected to public ridicule in india it was in practice during the mughal rule which has been completely abolished next is pressured by iron rods in this method of punishment the body of the offender was pressured by two iron rod in a very inhuman and cruel manner where he suffered a lot of pain next one is imprisonment the punishment of imprisonment which is seen today is totally different from the kind of imprisonment which was awarded in the past many kingdoms awarded the punishment of imprisonment by shackling the hands and legs of the culprit and throwing them down a dry well or in a small dark room the third kind of punishment is social punishment social punishment is a punishment in which a person is restrained from making any kind of contact with any other person or is moved to a distant place breaking all of his social connections no person can extend any help of any sort and if anyone tries to do that they are held liable for punishment social punishment was not aimed at inflicting any bodily pain but a psychological one this form of punishment was divided into two parts number 1 is banishment banishment means to expel a person it is also known as transportation and second one is the social boycott social boycott means an act of forcing a person to abstain from any kind of contact with other people of the society so student here we have studied about the three kind of punishment and in which the first one was the capital punishment second one was the corporal punishment and uh, this um, we are discussing about this one this is the social punishment which is divided into two parts and i have told about the banishment and the social boycott and now we will discuss about the last kind of punishment and this is the financial punishment financial punishment it is also known as imposition of fine it was the common mode of punishment which was not serious in nature and it was awarded especially for the breach of traffic rules revenue laws and other minor offenses it also included the payment of compensation to the victims of the crime and also the payment of the cost of prosecution so dear student this was the last kind of 
punishment and that is financial punishment thank you so